To teach speaking, you have to always teach for both elements, for fluency and for accuracy. Learners of a language need to just feel comfortable producing language and not worrying so much about whether it's right or wrong. But at some point, they also need to work on places where accuracy matters. These two things should be separated. Another thing that teachers need to know about teaching speaking is that they need to understand the nature of progress. That often, students might not be able to do what they want them to do right away. Their brains know what they want to do, but their mouths and their automaticity don't follow. This is normal, and it will come to a point where it becomes more automatic. Last, I think in speaking or in pronunciation, learners of any age can improve. It's not a hopeless thing. Sometimes I think adult learners think that they're just never going to be able to do it. But what we know is that anybody can improve. It's like any other skill. You just need to do it. Professor Levis suggested that teachers should teach fluency and accuracy in separate tasks. He also pointed out that there's a need to be patient because automaticity comes with practice, little by little. By automaticity, he means the development of the ability to speak fluently by accessing language that is also correct. This happens little by little over time. When we think about speaking tasks, we might consider a design like a cycle, where the speaking task focus would change for each task from focus on fluency to focus on accuracy. The cycle would continue over a period of gradual progress in developing oral communication skills. Students might start with a planning task, where they're thinking about what they're going to talk about. They could work together using communication tools to engage in fluent communication. They can search for information to use in speaking. They might use internet tools to help them with the accuracy of their pronunciation. Planning can be good for helping students to develop their accuracy. A task following might be an accuracy-focused task where the student is required to present something. There's time for rehearsal of the presentation, and the accuracy is important with the evaluation of the speaking task. At that point, the student is ready to have error correction because the focus is on accuracy. So at that point, the speaking might be interrupted to correct errors as the task moves to a focus on error correction. From there, the students might have developed some new language skills and some new language knowledge, and they might be ready for a fluency-oriented task. A fluency-oriented task would allow the students to speak freely without stopping and correcting for errors, without focus on accuracy. In a fluency-based task, the focus is on the meaning of what's being said exclusively, and the students are pushed to keep talking fluently. This cycle can be used with different types of tasks through the development of the speaking process. As students move to be able to talk about one topic and then another topic, they can work through tasks that focus alternatively on planning, accuracy, error correction, and fluency. Professor Levis emphasized that accented speech is not a problem for students. So teaching should really focus on comprehensibility. Can the student be understood? When teachers correct errors, there are lots of errors to choose from. And so teachers should focus on those that are actually a problem for comprehensibility without trying to reach a goal of native-like pronunciation. The goal for speaking instruction should be comprehensibility rather than native-like pronunciation.